today we will start with different type of cashmere yarns. We have many different options for it. And we will start with a uh, multiple color cashmere. Here you can see a sample, which is knitted on needles number six. So the baby cashmere is, I would say, probably the most exclusive cashmere type and you will feel the difference between just the cashmere and baby cashmere. It will be even more softer. Then we'll continue with a 100% cashmere yarn. So there are two types of cashmere. There is combed and there is non-combed. And we will start with the uh, combed. So what it means is that uh, it will be more um, kind of smoother, more plain, uh, maybe without uh, uh, fluff that much. But the softness, of course, is like cashmere. It depends uh, on what you are planning to knit. Next we will talk about non-gum cashmere, which you can see here. And if we compare these both uh, kind of treatment techniques, then uh, you can see that this will be more fluffy. Uh, it will more, the stitches will be more filled up. Um, and this one will be more, it looks kind of silky, even though there is no silk. And as we always remind you, uh, please wash, uh, wash your samples and then you will see the final result.
idea that we can suggest you is that you can perfectly also combine all these cashmere. And also you can definitely play with uh, multiple different textures. Uh, for example, like here you can see. Yeah, I think it looks pretty interesting and original. And if we talk about the uh, effect yards, here are some cashmere effect. Cashmere effect yards, yes. For example. but also as you can see in the after washing it uh, looks completely different as just a single thread and here is another option for cashmere effect yarn um, the thread is quite unusual say it's kind of Kind of plain. And here you can see in our sample. And it is knitted only um, only in a right twist stitch and left one. And the effect is already interesting. And here you can see also an idea in how it looks in a pattern. And this is a mohair yarn from which you can definitely make a very lightweight cardigan for example and also sweaters of course and I think it's also since the summer is coming it, you can definitely make it for some colder summer nights and we also have two new colors of merino and cashmere mix This one is also more plain without that much uh, fluff, but um, the softness is still there. Then we have a few new colors of 100% extra fine merino wool. And I would like to mention that uh, there is definitely a difference between extra fine merino wool and just a simple merino wool. Then we have a white merino wool, extra fine merino wool, which is more like white to white actually. And here you can, for example, compare with the white. And also black one. is a composition that we had last year but we have new colors and this is a mix of uh, royal baby alpaca wool mixed with the extra fine merino wool and here you can see we talk about texture 
then you can see very light, very delicate alpaca fluff. And this composition we also definitely suggest for some kids or children to wear because it won't be itchy, even though there is alpaca wool, but uh, it is also super soft.